The Battle of Goldsboro Bridge, 1861. The Battle of Goldsboro Bridge was never intended to put an occupying force in Goldsboro. The purpose of this raid was to disrupt the rail traffic from Wilmington, North Carolina, an open Confederate port, to General Lee's army in Virginia. General Foster left New Bern with a force of 10,000 men and moved west towards Kinston, Seven Springs, and Goldsboro. His plan was to move along the south side of the Neuse River to his objectives. General Foster succeeded in Kinston, and at Seven Springs, his presence caused the Confederate builders of the ironclad, CSS News, to scuttle the ship. Mount Olive was a stop on the rail line from Wilmington to Goldsboro. General Foster sent part of his mounted cavalry to Mount Olive to destroy the railroad tracks there and moved the main part of his force on towards Goldsboro. His force met the Confederates on the south bank of the Neuse River where the covered railroad bridge crossed it. Confederates held the north side of the river at this railroad crossing. These forces were reinforced during the battle and there was a rail mounted cannon that was put to good use too. Two earthworks on the south side of the river are still there today, 150 years after this battle took place. As the engagement commenced, the Confederates attacked but were driven back. The Union forces attacked the bridge under heavy fire and were successful in burning the covered railroad bridge. Once the bridge was burned, the Union forces began their withdrawal. The rear guard forces were quickly reinforced when attacked by the Confederates who were driven back yet again. The Union forces completed their successful withdrawal to New Bern. Many civilians watched this action and newspaper artists supplied drawings for their publications. These actions by General Foster delayed vital supplies from reaching General Lee for over six months. Can you imagine a military force not being able to obtain supplies for six months? This stop on the Civil War Trail is on the actual site of the Battle of Goldsboro Bridge. Today, this 32-acre site has a nice 7 tenths mile walking trail over the battlefield with markers describing the action that took place there. Reenactments are planned and will provide a realistic element for those interested in Civil War tactics. Remember, the Battle of Goldsboro Bridge, the word Goldsboro is spelled G-O-L-D-S-B-O-R-O-U-G-H.